And now at 5.30, an important health warning after breast implants linked to a rare and deadly cancer are being recalled. The Food and Drug Administration is citing a significant increase in cancer cases and deaths linked to the implant made by Allergan. And today, they ask for the recall. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl is here with details on this cancer-related recall that is not breast cancer. That's right, guys. Lots to break down. First, we should say there are lots of different kinds of breast implants. This recall only involves textured implants made by Allergan. The company announced the voluntary worldwide recall today at the request of the FDA. Now, this comes as the agency revealed there have been 116 new cancer cases and 24 more deaths since its last update earlier this year. Allergan's textured breast implant is designed to prevent slippage and to minimize scar tissue. But the FDA says there are now 573 cancer cases linked to the implant worldwide and 33 deaths in what's being called a significant increase. I was in shock, really. I couldn't, um, I couldn't believe it. Sandra Rush is among the women who developed not breast cancer, but breast implant associated anaplastic large cell lymphoma, a rare blood cancer the FDA says is linked to breast implants. We have seen something new in breast implant associated cancer. And I just want us to pay attention to that. The FDA estimates that hundreds of thousands of women have the Allergan textured implants, but the vast majority of implants have smooth surfaces. There may be potential issues, either product related or to the body reacting to it. Bucks County plastic surgeon Brian Bunowitz, who's removed hundreds of implants, says in addition to the cancer link, women have also developed breast implant illness syndrome. There's definitely a lot of women out there that are affected. I was getting sicker and sicker, and I didn't know why. Karen Minetti, a one time professional figure competitor, says she suffered with a variety of serious health problems that disappeared when she had her implants removed. I feel incredible. I really have not felt this good in over 10 years. Karen did not have the textured implant linked to cancer. Now, it is usually successfully treated with removal of the implant, but that is not recommended unless there are symptoms like pain. We should also point out millions of women have implants. Most are just fine. This affects just a small number of good people. Good to point out, indeed. Thank you. Thank you, Steph.